Hi, I'm Jim Brahini. I'm the director of the Bronx Zoo, and we're in front of the lion exhibit at the African Plains. Um, we're really excited because for the first time in almost 30 years, we've had lion cubs born at the Bronx Zoo. The cubs are making their debut on Friday, April 30th. Um, they'll be out on exhibit with their mom and dad, and sometime soon their older sister, Moxie. The adult lions that we have here, the male's name is Mwasi, and he's about eight years old, and the female is Sukari, and she's about five years old. This is their second uh, litter of cubs. The first litter only produced one baby, which isn't unusual for a first-time mom, and she's about a year and a half old now. And these guys were born on January 27th, so they're quite young and quite active in the exhibit. When the cubs were born, as I said, everybody was really excited because it's the first time we've had lion cubs born at the Bronx Zoo in almost 30 years. But we were very careful to be respectful of the female and her privacy because you don't want to do anything to upset the animal that would cause any kind of stress. So the only people who came in contact with the mom and the cubs soon after they were born are the people who care for them every day, the people who actually have a relationship with the, with the animal. Having these lions, having this lion family on exhibit out in the African Plains is a great opportunity for people to come to the zoo because they can experience a slice of nature that they would only otherwise get if they went to Africa out to the savannah. So you come here and you not only get to appreciate the lion for what the lion is, but you see how it fits into the natural setting where it lives, how it interacts with other species that it comes in contact with the wild, and you get a sense of the animal's uh, nature and biology. So it's more than just coming and looking and seeing the lions and realizing how cute the cubs are. You get a sense of how they fit into their natural world and why it's important to save them.